Let's start with my NCAA tournament final four. Duke, North Carolina, Purdue, Gonzaga. I have Duke beating North Carolina by one point in the national championship game. Usually I just go ahead and pick Michigan State. I also usually get too cute with my picks, so I'm not doing that this year. I'm going chalk, I'm going Duke. I think they're the most talented they win. I know they're bad at shooting the three-pointer, about 30% from beyond the arc. No team has won the national championship in the last 20 years that shot below 37% from three, but I don't care. They have Zion Williamson. I think he's head and shoulders the best player. Didn't really work out when Kevin Durant was on Texas. They won like one game, but I'm riding with Zion and Duke. Here's my one concern for Zion Williamson when he gets into the NBA, because I do think he's a campus prospect. I think his skills will translate. I think the hype is real, but his weight concerns me. He's already 285. He's 18 years old. LeBron James came into the league at like maybe 240 at most, put on at least 25 pounds during his time in the NBA. Shaquille O'Neal was about 300 pounds when he got into the league, ballooned up to 370 at one point. These guys don't get smaller or thinner or more tone when they come into the NBA. They get thicker. They put on weight. They're traveling. Overall man weight. Lifting weights. Most people, when you get older, you put on weight. This kid's already 285 and 18. Not the purest shooter. How will the body, how will the explosiveness and the athleticism hold up when he turns 25? When he turns 29? 285 and 18 is a big old boy. And he's only 6'7". He's not 7'1". He has to be taken with the number one overall pick. No questions asked. But I don't think he's LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal. I think he is closer to Sean Kemp or Larry Johnson. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.